Hi, today's Thursday, and let's call it Social Inclusion Thursday because we've got two important things to tell you about. One is, thanks to WGBH, Andrew, one of our constituents, is on a mural, digital mural, that overhangs on the Mass Pike. And their message is about inclusion. So thank you, WGBH. And Andrew is supported by our friends and chapter at Encompass Human Services. But secondly, 24 hours ago, the AP Associated Press released an article about the culmination of one year of advocacy by the ARC and others to increase the federal, federal dollars through a stimulus package for home and community-based services. That became a reality about a week and a half ago, and then about 40 hours ago, the AP did a story about how these dollars in home and community-based services can help support the workforce, individuals and families at home, providers with the terrible you know, experiences and need for support that they've had during COVID. There's one more thing the article focuses on that you should know about. It's been less than four decades, really, 1980s, when money for home and community-based services from the federal government was in ready supply, and that states began to figure out how to receive reimbursement for a group home, for employment, for other supports, family support, less than 40 years. There continues to be more of an incentive for states to fund institutional care because those dollars are easier to get reimbursed. And this Congress has two proposals that are starting to get churned up to take away that disincentive from the community to incentivize home and community first. We hope to keep you informed Stay listening, and hopefully we'll all be part of that change when we need to. Today's Thursday. Let's make it Social Inclusion Thursday. Take care.